Tickets, those things were like hundreds of dollars. Yeah. I just can't believe how. It's like a lot of money. Well, it looks like it might rain over there. I hope it rains, John. Yeah. I do. You know, we're about four inches above average right now, or a little over four inches. Really? Nearly four and a half inches above average right now. So, yeah. Maybe. It says like 30%, but... Yeah, I could just go to KBOA. That's what I do. Okay, yeah. Is that Kennel Fort? I don't know. Yeah. So what do you think about uh, how things are going with the politics? Yep. Yeah. I hope it happens. I really do. I, I mean, it might, it might, they might get Trump as president again, but I, I hope not. You know, I, I, I think we need to have a change. You know, with somebody else in there. Supposed to rain a bunch Master next week. Go ahead. One of the doggies that I was working with, uh, his name is Cash, mm -hmm. yesterday, and uh, his deadline came and went, and I thought for sure he was going to be put down today, but he found a, there was a, a a miracle. You got adopted? Uh, they yeah they found somebody that would help them out. So yeah, I don't know how I don't know if they was if he was rescued how he was rescued. You know, but I I think one of our one of the fosters worked with worked was able to get it going. So that was cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We still got another one today that might, it might, today's his deadline, so I, or her deadline, actually, I should say. But, uh, she's a, she's black, black doggy, so I, uh, she might be, not be shiny and pretty enough to, to attract. Oh, black dogs are not, not as frequently adopted out? Right. Yeah, they don't they don't get adopted as as quickly as the as the lighter colored ones. Huh. Yep. And tomorrow I'm gonna go to uh, the Humane Society. Mm -hmm. So that'll be nice. I'll be able to take my car for the first time over there in a while. Mm -hmm. yep. There's a couple dogs over there that don't work with me, but but most of them do. I get I probably get about ninety ninety five percent of the ones 
fuzzy doggies are pretty cool with me, but then there's a couple that really have a hard time. Maybe they, mm -hmm. you know, maybe it's the man thing or it's the, you know, the wheelchair the like or... we're talking about. Says the 96, 50% participa participation, precipitation, I'm sorry, said the wrong. Okay. Yeah, 50-50. Uh, I guess it's supposed to rain a bunch next week, or yeah, maybe, yeah. or there's a I lot of possibility it. next week. I wish it would rain, John. Yeah. Even though we're four inches above normal, over four yeah, inches over above normal, it's always... I mean, the plants seem to like it quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just like the cool off the ground. And with the change in weather, it's always so nice to me. For me. Yeah, I, I saw, I was at one of the intersections yesterday, and it was just a, just a normal intersection. There wasn't, I don't remember any specific tr streets or anything like that, and where I was or anything like that, but I was like, darn, it was so green. You know, it was so happy. <laughs> yeah. Because it was still quite green. Yeah. Well, there was a lot of, a lot of uh, weeds that were growing, but at least they were growing, you know. Instead. Yeah, I got all my weeds cut down because it was so weird yesterday. I think it was. Yeah, I yeah. saw that. Your yard looks really yeah, clean. Yeah, just need to snip it through this way. Let's see. Speaking of that, the city of Tucson comes in. Uh, around our neighborhood and um, the uh, there's a canal or a little canal right next to our yeah. right next to our place and um, yeah that gets a bunch of growth in it a yeah, bunch of it does. Yeah. the Palverde trees and the yeah. you know, uh, they come in and clean it out yeah I hope so I hope they do pretty soon because I I, I, when I turn and go on to the main street of Columbus, I have to look over there and I can hardly see anything because there's so much growth, so man. much yeah. growth, yeah. Green growth, but mm -hmm. growth on the, nevertheless. But, but, so hopefully they'll take care of that a little bit. Oh, and another thing I was going to tell you was that uh, we took Osita, uh, she's six, 17 years old, took her to the, the vet uh, because she has a heart murmur, so they can't put her, uh, put her, uh, they can't give her an anesthetic mm -hmm. to make her uh, take a nap while they work on her teeth. Yeah. So she had huge amounts of tartar build up yeah, on her teeth. Imagine. It was bad. It yeah. was really, really bad. But uh, I, I tried to work on it for a couple of weeks at least. But, uh, you know, I have to be careful because I I don't want to piss her off too much. But then at the same time, I want to be aggressive and I want to get this stuff, the tartar out. And yeah. It's not going. It's not going anywhere, you know. Unless mm -hmm. you have to be, you kind of have to be kind of rough with it. So mm -hmm. anyway, uh, I tried to get as much of it as I could, and I, I think the vet saw that I tried. She saw that I tried, and so she said, you know, after after I picked up Osita, a few hours later, she said, well, her secretary uh, said. You know that she was surprised they they weren't that bad I mean she I mean they could have been they could have been worse they could have been a lot better but mm -hmm. you know she was surprised at how well it was so yeah. I guess that was kind of my my way of saying or that was kind of my interpretation of her saying you know keep up the good work mm -hmm. or yeah, keep trying yeah yeah try to Yeah, there was a there was a big old chunk that she had on her canine, mm -hmm, yeah. and uh, I was able to work at that, to work at that little I'm bit. Surprised little she was bit. patient to let you do that. Well, I have to be very careful with her because if I piss her off too much, and she is like in this state, like 
hell no, I don't want to do that again. Yeah. Yeah. She knows it hurts, you know, or mm -hmm. it feels uncomfortable. Yeah. But at the same time, she likes the companionship. She likes the, she likes mm -hmm. me to spend time with her, you mm -hmm. know. So it's kind of a, kind of a two-edged, a double-edged sword, you know. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I, I went in there, I went in there today in her mouth today and I you know I I just thought she had a little bit of crap here and a little bit of crap there so I I was able to get it out get, mm -hmm. get rid of it you know it was much much it was a lot easier than getting that trying to get that tartar out because that's that's, that's, that's that's on there that yeah it's not easy it's like concrete, man. It's just, it's, or where the, the caliche. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. It's like caliche, you're right. Yeah. Those are right. It's really hard. Yeah. I was wondering if there was some kind of medicine I could, or some kind of solution that I could give her to soften up that, yeah, that tartar, but that was I don't. That's an idea. Look it up. I don't Is there know. anything to soften the tartar on dogs feet while they do it? Right. I can't imagine it. I really don't know. I know that I know that Steve was well I and I did some research bones. on it. We used to always just give them bones. Right, yes, yes, yes. That I don't know. That's what know. uh that's what uh Ernesto used to do with his dogs because he would take his dogs to the to the vet in Mexico. And the do and the vet was just like I couldn't believe how clean their teeth were, mm -hmm. and it was because he gave them bones. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't think he was as fastidious about chicken bone. Mm -hmm. yeah, I have to be yeah. careful about that. Yeah, I don't know. They're awfully soft. I mean, I, I've always heard not to do it. Well, I I did some research on that, and the thing about it is, is you can give them chicken bones that are raw, mm -hmm. that have not been cooked. Oh, okay. But once they've been cooked, then they can shatter much easier. Oh, okay. And they can okay. shatter in ways that are not yeah. Yeah. not healthy at all for dogs. So. Yeah, I understand. So it's all raw bones, okay. Raw bones, yeah. Yeah, that's good to know. Yes. We don't have any around here, so you just kind of like the bones bringer that's for sure and uh, uh we give we give chicken uh feet to to villanova osita and really? taco and where uh, do you find them i don't i don't remember where she got them probably over at the uh, mexican supermarket yeah yeah mm -hmm. That dollar store, or not the dollar yeah, store, what that place that's on. Oh, Super or whatever that place Yeah, is. yeah, right. Oh, Super or something. Yeah. So. That's where you used to find them. Uh, over there on the 34th Street or something like that. So. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, she got the chicken bones, uh, chicken feet mm -hmm. for the dogs, and our dogs, our dogs have. Oh dude, that's too yucky. The dogs over at my over at Ernesto's house, they they loved them. They thought they yeah. were fantastic. <laughs> so, so. Sweet, yeah. That's the Dolby commercial. It's like every other commercial. What is it? Oh, Weight loss. Yes, it, I don't know what it does. Oh. Yeah, I think it's the one they play. I don't know what heart disease. Oh. Or disease something. I don't know. There's so many. Just turn, I think it's all on TV. There's all kinds of med patients there trying to pedal. I see. All the time, John. Yeah, I'm interested. I mean, the thing about it is, 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 with, if they, if they get, if they do get Kabbalah in there and, 
uh, I think his name is Walt, to get them in there, then, then, uh, I mean, I know that the government, there's so many, so many people, and so many, it's like, you can't make a decision, you have to go through him, and you have to go through her, and you have to, I mean, there's so many checks and balances, it's, it's ridiculous, so there's hardly anything that can get done, but I'm interested to see if she, if she can get anything done that's a little bit different than what mm -hmm. what we've what we've had so far. Well, I know there's some things she's been working on with the border. I mean, that's kind of a mess, really. You know. Yeah, it's at some point. The, Virginia, the border between uh, the United States and Mexico. Yes. You know, I mean, people kind of come over all the time. It's really difficult. Yep. It's a challenge, that's for sure. Yeah. <coughs> I don't know. I mean, uh, they say they were coming over in droves, but I... Oh, I, I don't think they're coming over. I think that's an exaggeration. I think he's, you know, I don't think it's that. I mean, the, I don't know how many people try to ask. But, uh, I, you know, I, I'm, of course, uh, 